Right, welcome back everybody. Today we're looking at this gearbox. It's a F17 gearbox, commonly found in the Vauxhall Astras, Corsas, Sofiras and so on like that. It's the five speed version. I've actually bought a convertible Astra. It has got a gearbox fault on it. We think it might be the input shaft. So what I've actually gone and done, I've sourced another gearbox. This is out of a known running car. But while I've got it out, put a new clutch in it and then we'll swap them over and we'll get this fitted in the Astra. So I'm gonna give it a quick clean down now. So first of all, I'm just gonna drain the oil out of it because it's still got the shaft in it. So there's still some oil in there. So I'll just drain that out and then we'll get started. Right then, so I've drained the oil out from the back there. I've took the drain plug out and as you can see, look, a lot of filings on there. So this is one of the reasons why I weren't just gonna bolt this gearbox into the vehicle because things like this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove this drive shaft and basically just start stripping it right down. And then once it's stripped right down, we give this a nice good clean down. What I'm gonna do now is just try and pull this drive shaft out. There we go. Not a problem at all there. And then what I'm just gonna do now is I'm just gonna start unbolting some of these ancillary parts just to get it down to the bare shell and then we can start stripping bearings out and I say I want to give it a good clean. So I'll just stick you on a bit of time, that's why I'll strip this down. So welcome back, it's actually the next day now. Uh, I had to leave this yesterday because I got a call from the wife and we had to take the little girl to hospital. So yeah, so this is where we left it yesterday. So what I'm gonna be looking at doing now is undoing this three T30 bolts there. So we're gonna be getting them undone. So as you can see that pipe actually feeds up here. So we gotta take this top off and hopefully then we should be able to pull that down and bring this out in one unit. So. I'm just going to get my tools ready and then we'll take this top off. You can see there's actually a pin there. So I presume we pull that out and hopefully that should lift off and then we can drop the internal bit in. So right then, so I'm just going to get my flat-headed screwdriver, just pull that clip out. And as I say, it's just a little clip. So we'll put that over here with the other parts. And I'm hoping that this should just uh, pop off now. There we go. So as you can see, that's off now. And I will just put that pin back in there so we don't lose it. Right, so I've got my T30 piece and there is just three of these little bolts there. So we'll get them off. And I say, I've never done one of these gearboxes for us. I've never even done a gearbox to be honest with you. So this is all new to me. So it might not be coming off in this order, but there is very little research on YouTube about these that's clear anyway. Yeah, so that's released that. Set. Look who's here. Hello. Come to see what's going on in my workshop. Taken over. Right, so what we're gonna actually do now is we're just gonna loosen this pipe off. We'll get this out of the way and then we'll see if we can drop this pipe right down then. go and then we can just remove that out of the way then right then so since we've just taken this out here we've realized we don't even actually need to take that out so we're not going to bother messing about with that because it could mean it's probably a bit brittle up there we don't want to cause no damage because it's an expense we don't need so so that's the old thrust bearing and as you can hear it is a little bit raunchy and you do get a new thrust bearing with uh, the clutch kit anyway so there you go, that's redundant now. So we're just going to pop this drive shaft oil still out while we've got the box up this way before we flip it over. There we go. A little bit of persuasion and it's out. That's a firm little beast, wasn't it? So I can get that measured now and make sure I'm ordering the right one. Right, so we're just going to undo these four 13mm bolts now. Right, 
Right, so it's stuck on the uh, output shaft bearing there. So we've got a copper mallet there, as you can see, and we're just going to gently tap the, the output shaft to the clutch. I'm going to go around there and see if it should be separated. Yeah. We can see here it's starting to separate the case now. Oh, it's off that dowel. There is a couple of dowels, I believe, on here. Stand it up there. There we go. Well, that's the shaft out. Right, so as you can see, there is actually a couple of dowels it sits on. So we did have that washer drop in the box there, and we've just found it sits on there because it can only go on there because that bar's actually um, got two flats on it, and so is the washer, as you can see. And none of the other bars, as you can see, they've got flats on, so that's where that comes off of. And that's the internals. So what we're going to do now is uh, say we've got one more oil still there to remove and then we're just going to go ahead and inspect this case and inspect the bearings as well to see if there's any play in them or any gorging noises if there is they'll be replaced if they're all right we'll uh, leave them sit through and won't disturb them yeah. so as you can see down there with the blue ring around it that's uh, the big bearing there the big bearing the big boy <laughs> right so we've had a look around this now and all the gears seem perfect there's no wear on any of these teeth at all we've inspected all of them and as you can see, it's freely spinning there without a sound at all. So I'm happy with that. I think we're going to go with that and leave it as it is because it did come out of a running car with no known issues, as I did say earlier. And the gear selector rods are all okay as well. We've checked the gear selector rods as well for wear. There's no sign of any wear at all on them. So uh, there's no reason with a new gasket on that, that can go back as a complete unit. We've also been in the box here and we've checked the bearings. And if you put your finger in there, give it a wiggle, a turn. There's no sound at all and it's lovely and smooth that. Then bearings there's no problems at all with. So the only thing we've got to check is the final drive. We'll whiz that off now. So we'll take that cover off. We've got another oil seal to take out there for the other drive shaft. And we'll check, check because this is where we believe is the problem on the existing gearbox. We believe there's a problem with the final drive. So we're not expecting a problem with this one, but we will take this off as a matter of inspection. So once we've done that, we will give it a good thorough clean. And then I'm going to get on the phone and see if I can get a gasket kit today. So we're just going to whip this base off now. And these are 11 mils and the bolts are actually locked tight in. So they do take a bit of getting off. There we go, nice and clean in there. And there's your final drive. Just inspect the teeth as you go around, make sure there's no notches or anything. Bearings are nice and smooth. And the final drive seems to be in good condition. So it's just that final oil seal to get out and... Uh, yeah, one more oil seal down there. Clean the gasket faces, give the box a bit of a clean inside, the bell housing. Right there, so we've just been to Lincoln now to uh, Voxcare and that was to get the gasket seals and they are GM seals as you can see there. Nice couple. Well, I say they're a couple, they might not be, mightn't they? They might not, might be brother and sister. Could be. Caroline and Gary anyway from Voxcare in Lincoln. If you need anything, I'll give you the details, the number's up there and there's a website. All Voxel stuff. So yeah, we had, they gave us a little tour around their, their uh, workshop there. They had a couple of um, old Mark II Astros, wasn't they? GTEs, the race ones. Can't remember. And then a nice old Cavalier in there. We did get the oil seals as well. And there's the part number there if you do need to rebuild your gearbox for the F17. So we've got two of them. What we're going to do now is we're just going to stick this base plate on. And that's 10, 11 mil bolts. And make sure you do put the Loctite on now. I've cleaned the threads off now. So we're just going to put them back on with a bit of Loctite. And at the end, they will be getting talked up. We've just got to look in the manual for the settings on that. Blue so. Loctite, by the way, not red. It's not a permanent one, so it's blue. There you go. So let's get this on, and then we'll start putting everything else back on. And as I say, we'll talk it up at the end, because we need to look at the manual. You're doing that. enough talking now. Well, no, I'm waffling. Right, so look who's turned up. Butler's Empire. Butler's Empire, Retro Restore. Get over and subscribe. Here to get the channel sorted out. Come on. So we've just started sticking these bolts back in now, as you can see. I'm winding them in with the impact gun. There you go. Just have 
to nip them up. So we will get them talked up now, but we're just going to start putting all the other bits on and we'll talk everything up right at the end. Right, so we're going to lift this on here. We say we, why are you waiting for me to do it? Because it's on your side. <laughs> right, so, make sure that shaft goes into that. Oh, you need to pause a bit. Oh, we're not far off now, is it? No, it's, it's just a matter of dropping in. I don't want to pinch my bloody fingers. No. There it goes. See what I mean? So that's sitting on them dowels nicely. That's a copper gasket by the looks of it, isn't it? Yeah, and the other videos on YouTube, people were showing you taking all this off, didn't they? Yeah. You didn't need to do that. There's only one other video there. We saw some chap undo these brackets here and take these uh, Allen keys out. I think they're five or six mil. And when you lifted this top bit off, all things fell off from inside. So, you know, you can't always go by what you see on YouTube. We're doing it um, using just a bit of common sense. We haven't got a manual, actually. So uh, we're taking it apart and putting it back together. So what you got there? We've got the end case. I didn't show you. I powder coated that because it was all uh, corroded and rusty. So I did sandblast it and done a bit of powder coating on that. It just freshens it up. And the bolts. That's them. Different lengths. Yeah. No dowels on there, was it? On there, no. So if I remember rightly, the longer ones did go round the corners first. Four. They're all the same length, aren't they? The longer ones look like they go right through, don't they? Yeah. Probably in that one. And probably in that one as well. That's it. So they've all got to be nipped down. Again, not tightened down by this tool. Gonna to do it all by hand afterwards. What size are those? E what? E30? That's a CRV14. E14 then? Yeah. Finish them off. So we nip them up now by hand. Uh, I've got one more bit smaller than gearbox. Just get on there. You've got to make sure that selector goes uh, in the right position, don't you? Yeah. Get them on the dial. Right that way. So that wants to be in the middle position that four bolts. So that's that's just the engine back, I can go on last, but so we'll you get got these bolts, what's these ones here? You've got two to go in there, yeah? Four there. Fours. Where's it where's the four go? Two in there. Two on the other side. And two in the other side as you can see there. And then we'll just go around, talk all these up. We look on like with these specifications for the talk. And uh, Bob's your mother's uncle. No, that's wrong, isn't it? It could be. Bob's your mother's brother. In other words, Bob's your uncle. And these four are 13 now. There we go, I'll put that on after we've talked all that up. So all we've got now is the clutch kit and that's not here yet. So that'll be in another video when we're taking the old gearbox out of the car. So hopefully the next video, we should be stripping the car down, getting ready to refit this. Right then, as you can see, we're fully back together now. We did give it a bit of a clean up, just so it's a bit nicer to work with when we're moving it about. 
won't get covered in grease and oil. And I say that just finishes it off that little uh, cap there. I say we did get these seals in and the way we done that is we used the old seal and we just dropped that in there and then we was able to put a socket on top of that one and tap that so it wasn't actually damaging the new seals. We done that the same on both sides. So yeah, I'm really happy with this gearbox. Hopefully once it's fitted, there should be no issues. So as I say, this is the first part of the gearbox. That was the strip down and just assessing everything inside, cleaning it all out and giving it a good clean up so we know it's a good gearbox to go back in. And we'll get the new clutch. I'm just waiting for that in the post. So once that's here, we can start getting the other, we can start getting the Astra strip down. And as I said before, also check Voxcare and they are based in Lincoln and that's Caroline and Gary. I phoned them up and they said, we've got the stuff here, come and get it now. So good service, they hold a lot of stock there. Really nice people. And with a company like that, they've been going 20 odd years, they would say, 20 plus years. And it's just nice to pick the phone up and speak to someone that actually knows what you want and all the part, talk about the parts. Cause you can phone some of these big companies up and the people that work there don't know what they're doing. They just work off the computer screen. And after time, the stuff they give you is wrong anyway. So what they done there was fantastic. We will definitely be using them again for our Vauxhall stuff. And we, as you know, between me and my dad, there's a few Vauxhalls about. So yeah, really nice people. I'm going to leave it here for this little video. Don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe, because I've noticed on the um, algorithms, there's actually about 52% people that view the videos are not actually subscribers. So, yeah, if you don't mind, just uh, hit the little bell down the bottom and subscribe. And the next video, hopefully, we'll be getting this gearbox fitted. So, see you about.